Hi, good evening to everyone. This PowerPoint presentation is upon how to file online VAT return by sharing some slides. The total procedure is displayed here. So please go through the procedure. This is the website ID or link you can say that is www.wbcomtax.gov.in for which the VAT return will be done. So you have to click this website link on your computer screen. After this, this home page will appear. So at first you have to click download softwares option. So you have to click here. After that, download software from the download blank jar files. You have to download form 14 that is VAT e-return form 14 that is only for VAT e-return. Form 14 VAT return will be display here. <coughs> Select return period. <coughs> The period gap will be chosen from this option from and to. After that, select type of return, original or revised. You have to select any one option. After that, enter the T, that is registration number and trade name, trade name of your organization. Put the gross purchase of good exempt from tax amount over here. Gross purchase of goods taxable. Exclusive of tax at the rate 1% or 5% put in the below box. This is the form 14 gross purchase at the rate 14.5% or at a special rate if any will be put here. Purchase of capital goods taxable at 5% or 14.5% will be put here. Gross purchase from unregistered detail and dealers if any that will be put here in this option in case where purchase tax is payable then have to fill the columns that is on a and b after that click on next button so this is import of goods from outside the state and purchase made from within the state type of import so net cst purchases amount it will be here Stock transfer received from outside West Bengal will be here. Imports, good imported from outside India within the meaning of subsection 2 of section 5 of the Central Sales Tax Act 1956 if any that will be put here. After that aggregate of sale price, total gross sales within West Bengal and CST sales including CST will be put here in the below option part B that is. After that sales return within West Bengal it will be put under section 18. Section 19 will represents breakup of above sales figure. That is exempt sales, CST sales including CST and after that 26, 27, 28 are sales taxable at the rate 1% or 5% exclusive VAT. Then 29A that is sales of goods other than MRP as in 26 taxable at the rate of 13.5%. Or 14.5% will be put here. After that, 30A, adjustment of output tax on account of sales return if any applicable that will be put here. And adjustment of output tax if any other than sales return will be put here. Then click on the next green color button. Contractual transfer price. Here at first, contractual transfer price excluding VAT will be put on the first column. Then deductions will be put accordingly. Labor and service portion of the contract rule 31 payments to subcontractor total taxable portion would automatically appear in 34 section. Then in the below section taxable contractual transfer price taxable at the rate of 4% or 5% will show here. After that this is the taxable portion contractual transfer price at the rate of 13.5% or 14.5% will be put here automatically total will be here and then click on the next button this is part c that is month wise breakup of output vat input vat c or f from last quarter month wise breakup of input vat 
Month-wise breakup of input VAT reversed due to sales return. Excess input, if available, can be claimed against CST payable. If there is an excess input, you can either carry it forward or claimed as refund. Refund is generally claimed within the fourth quarter. Have to be remembered. Then excess tax paid in last quarter, if any, month-wise tax payment as per Chalan. And in the 43 section, that is actual tax payable, interest on late payment if payable and payment details. Late fees payable, late fee and payment details if late return field. Then it will be field. Payment Chalan detail. Date of payment, mode, GRN or Chalan number, bank name, bank branch name, treasury name, period, tax paid, interest paid, late fees, etc. will be under payment challenge details. Click on next button. Three main taxable commodity and their sales. Name of the commodity, rate of tax and sales amount. These three main taxable commodity. After filling all the data, click on next green color button. Receipt and issue of invoices. At first, in the left column, just beside of the serial number column, there is a month option. After that, there is a serial number of invoices issued during the month. And then from number of sellers, purchase invoices received and invoice amount of purchase. Click on next button. Tax on MRP, this page can be skipped. Annexure purchase return, annexure F, select the rule 23. 4 under section. Month wise breakup of sales return and ITC reversal will be put here. This is the statement of lieu of an extra F. Fill the annexure B1, B2, B3, B4 and sales return and annexure D1 if include contractual transfer. So here form 14, this is sub rule 1 of rule 34. Detail of parties within West Bengal from whom purchases exceeded rupees 50,000 during the quarter. Their name, address, TIN if registered. Total gross purchase including VAT, number of invoices, tax invoices, etc. Involved will put here. Purchases and input tax from registered and unregistered parties within West Bengal from whom purchase value not exceeded rupees 50,000. After that. Detail of parties registered within West Bengal to whom sales is more than rupees 50,000 during the quarter. Name, address, team, sales, number of invoices and tax involved. Sales to registered parties below rupees 50,000 and tax on it put will be, will be put here. Detail of unregistered parties within West Bengal to whom sales exceeded rupees 50,000. Name, address, sales, number of invoices and tax involved will put here. Then, in the below section, sales to unregistered parties below rupees 50,000 and tax on it. After that amount of goods dispatched outside the state of West Bengal, otherwise than by way of sale, amount of branch, stock transfer made. Click on next button. Annexure D part 1, month-wise contractual transfer price. Monthly details of deduction claimed for labor and service portion. Taxable amount, contractual transfer price taxable. And taxable contractual transfer price taxable at the rate of 13.5% or 14.5%. After that, click on next button. After completion, save the file or the designated folder for uploading. Note the file can be saved on any stage. Click on declaration checkbox. Put the name and the designation of the contact person. After that, again visit the website wbcomtax.gov.in this is, this is the welcome page again click on e-return option after that click on login for e-filling of VAT return then with your user ID and password has to click here then login without DSC if you have DSC login with DSC then click on submit button click on VAT return form 14 after that, click here that is upload your XML files for normal or revised return. You have to click on this link only. And after that, click here and select the XML file that is saved. Choose file and upload the file. Acknowledgement will be generated after uploading the file. Take a copy of the acknowledgement. Get it signed by the director and submit the hard copy to authorized department. So this is the total procedure that 
how to find the total VAT return through online. To get some more information on this kind of online procedure or if you want to know some other kind of services through online, you can see our website or you can refer to our website to anyone who needs suggestions on this kind of topic that is www.helpmybees.in your efficient tax partner. Thank you.